Ayo, everyone oh shit, let me put it down a bit. Um, play more house up because we can and I want to get this over with. <laughs> get this shit over with. Let's start. Start. <laughs> um, we did, who, who we did? We did the brony. The brony. Yeah, the, the, the brony. Okay, so we're gonna do more shit. Okay, we did volume three, volume four. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Ah, two in a row of shitty characters. What the fuck? I have all of them, so I need to buy. Sh I mean, that's after you. After you say, oh my god, I love you. I. <laughs> These are okay. They're just children. These are okay. These are okay. These are bleh. These are okay. He's kind of cool. Um, these guys are decent, I guess. They're decent. Wait, what the fuck? I thought you, what didn't we just whatever? Um, but we have to do volume. Fucking bitch! I have to do him. Okay, I, no, I don't have to do him. I fucking hate him. I hate him and I want him dead. But I just like friendship. You're cool. He's. <laughs> God damn it, I don't talk about this fucker. God damn it, I remember he's an asshole. You wander down the street in a not too demolished looking part of town and you don't really take much in. You're not looking anywhere you're going. This is an elementary mistake, especially on a planet where everything that exists seems to be on a spectrum of engineers specifically for murder or two could be a weapon in a pinch, but you've got a lot in your mind. As for the car, these guys probably have some ridiculous word for it, but you don't have to learn it. Your notice slams into you, sending you flipping you over your feet and you begin a new concern on your list. Your bones and organs. The sound of the driver yelling, Watch there you go, you lump squirt chugger! Fades as they drive away and your ass is assess, ass, <laughs> it says your situation. You stretch each limb and turn, which you've got to say it doesn't feel great. You land in a bush which covers sharp spines. Your arms and legs all still work, though and when you do an experiment, cough, no blood comes out. Pretty lucky, I think. I just think, are we dead? <laughs> You never find what luck means by this, it's part of your journey, but you'll take what you can get. You don't figure that you, that luck will extend to the driver turning around to help you out of this bush. Your gaze immediately meets an expert sparking to an immediate intense connection that leads to a beautiful long friendship, but you'll let yourself hope. After a few minutes of struggle, the answer to your come early daydreams coming to focus above you. A figure outlined in the spiny leaves of your plant prison and glowed by the moons. The trail you see isn't the driver of the car, but you don't care. Your heart is beating wildly with your continued luck streak. <sighs> God, this bitch. We have to talk to. I have to talk to your ass. I remember I hated your ass. What the fuck does this say? We got zero doll oh, fucking up. Hello. Oh, fuck. What voice do we give him? He got even an asshole voice. Uh, let me see. Let me elongate my voice. Let me elongate the voice. Go down a bit. Go down. Let me see. Uh, kind of like, like, I don't know. What voice should I give him? Um... Hello! You seem to have all the victims of colliding scaper with the scuttle buggy back there. I feel like that's a good voice for her. I feel like he has a good voice. $50 introductor. <laughs> I hate you. Have you constructed your personal legislator? If not, I'd like to offer my services. 60 bucks. I keep talking to you, it's costing me money. No. My name is Tagore Gorjik, but please call me Gorgor. No. I call you an asshole. How about that? I'm here for you, for a nominal fee, of course. He pulls a business card from a sleek teal vest and offers it to you with a precise flick of the wrist. Your claws, his claw beds are perfect. You try again to set up, boy, buoyed by this offer for assistance. He's up to a doctor, maybe, or a lawyer. It doesn't matter, really, because he said he was here for you. Those words go right and burn themselves in the softest chamber of your heart. You started telling him your plight thus far, reaching up through the brambles to this beacon of hope. This guy seems trustworthy and does not slack of just talking, you swear. Oh, I hate you. As you ship, the moonlight shines on you. He sips back briefly, dropping the card. The one eye that's not covered by a super product infused hair opens wide. He recovers. Oh, because he's like, oh, fuck. I'm gonna. This is an alien or some shit. I don't fucking know. He recovers, smoothing his hands down his chest and straightening up, clearing his throat as you continue to explain. Okay. I forgot what voice I gave him. That's how much I don't care about you. You're what? Oh, yes. An alien. I knew that. I didn't work with aliens before, so your situation shouldn't be an issue at all. Legit- Oh god, I fucking- Everyone deserves an equal opportunity to be represented by me. In fact, we may be able to use this in our favor for a larger cash settlement. It all depends on our angle. 
Here, try moving your chug. What? You aren't sure why it's necessary, but you wiggle your torso, hoping that's right. You never want anything more in your meager existence to follow the specific directive perfectly. What the? You had a little hip jiggle. Not to mention that he might think it's a Kamahan, but enough to say, Hey, I'm friendly and I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> you know, the, the thing that holds up your think pan, work with me. Oh, your, your throat? Continue to hope when you're part of a troll friendship ritual, shimmying various parts of your anatomy deeper into the. So you just shimmy, you just shimmy it. Right, 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 right. He got you and he claps his hands together. There we go, that one hurt, did it? Definitely a case of a calm snap, which you can easily get this. De 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 <laughs> decently hefty restitution. Your fit, neck feels fine or doesn't hurt any more than the rest of you, but you give him what you hope is a crazily painful lot of agreement. Of course, we need the additional legislation costs. We may also have to injure you further to ensure your case is convincing, but you gotta bring a few cluck beast embryos and make a grub like this, you know. Yes, I think we may have a mutually beneficial team if you're willing to do what it takes to bring about the justice you deserve. So what do you say? How do you like to help me? Help what? Oh, I like... <laughs> I just realized that. He's talking really fast and you're not sure exactly what to think of your lack of funds or the idea of breaking any more bones, but you smile is but that smile is sharp and shiny and pointing right at you. You want more of it. If he does pro bono <laughs> No, he doesn't I just remember that he doesn't like money. He no, he doesn't like poor people, so he'd be like, I have a bunch of money, don't you worry about it. You mentioned how incredibly loaded you are and you accord your sense of values as it pays wealth to for good work. And that's what we call good business. Now get up. I have a lot pretty fun. Let's get you presentable. I like how each and uh, his typing quirk is at the end. There's always a fucking signature sign or whatever the fuck. He watches you flail a few times before he sighs. A button to his sleeves and rolls him into his elbows. Each fold is crisp and even. It even takes a while, but you are good at being patient. There's a 12. There's 12 percent cost, for instance, of manual labor. It will be all explained in your bill. It's itemized. I'm sure an alien of you means we'll be able to handle it. I take his hand and he pulls you up out of the bush. It's kind of a rough job. He's not as strong as he, as he looks, I guess. He glares at you like he's daring you to say shit about it, but you make a, you're a quick learner. He cuts you off mid thank you. My office isn't far from here. We can go there to get things started. And by things, I absolutely mean get you clean and sign a lot of vaguely worded yet sternly binding con condoms. What? I have no idea what I'm saying. He walks with a purpose. You shake off the flora stuck in your various body parts and do your best to catch up. On the outside, his office basically just seems like his hive. You've learned a thing or two during this shitstorm of a cultural exchange. They gotta play it cool when a potential friend invites you home. You never know what cages or monsters or methods or evisceration they might have laying around. And you wanna prepare a nice chill look on your face for whatever carnage you're about to be confronted by. Doesn't work. Oh look, his Lucis is a ferret. Little fucking thief, little bitch. No, not the Lucis, I mean, this fuck. It doesn't work. Your face falls to bewildered hell when you walk inside because it's all chrome and glass and broad of white walls in here. <laughs> it's like he bought the fanciest like in crate and barrel display <laughs> at the hate room he had to find down to the last useless minimal accessory and then never sat down on it. His loose is a fair is on an enormous silver thing that's halfway between the throne and a play tower. Everything is clean and bright at his perfect right angles and you don't see any weapons anywhere. It's fucking creepy. You ask me if just moved in because polite conversation seems like maybe the best thing you can do. In the absence of something specific to focus your fear on, you just sort of a little afraid of everything. You're not paying me to live my, live my life, sir, unless you'd like to. In that case, no. I've lived here most of my life. We'll go ahead and put that. <laughs> life story installment! That's not even how you spell it! You stare on the chair. Should you just sit on it? By all means, do not make yourself at home. <laughs> I like, do not make yourself at home. I hate you. I hate you and everything you stand for. Head straight to the abolition trap while I prepare our contract. You really want to connect with this guy, and you like how you just vibe there, where you were thinking about sitting your be be bedraggled ass bedraggled in his fancy chair, and you could totally tell you where you're thinking it. But you don't want to be friends badly enough to walk straight into something that he has the word trap right there in their name without at least pondering it for a second. Become a sub severe. Severe? I don't know what that means. So, blah, 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 during all of this. A goddamn bath. I think we wait. I think we let's take a bath. You are more of the little concerned about the trap part of the instructions you just received, but hey, as a trap, you know what's better than when you don't know. And by everything else, you see so freaky pristine, he has to be hiding some evil somewhere. You wonder if it's a dungeon. A dungeon could be cool. Oh, the, the, the bear bounces away. It's so cute. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, hello. 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 How are you? The fair bounds down to the pedestal and jerks it ahead for you to follow it. You do because it seems like a regular thing to do and Takora is busy on his computer. 
It leads to the bathroom where the fancy and clean as everything you've seen. The lizard chitters at you for a second, squirms its big noodle body around and leaves, shutting the door behind it. You wait a second until it's probably gone before you test the handle. It's unlocked. Huh. You wonder what the point of it, you know, motive might be for leading you to its room until you turn and see yourself in the mirror. That is some haggard looking stuff right there. So fair. Yeah, I realize that technically, well, depending on how, who draws, who draws me, I can just look like the, 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 the breeder, MSPA reader. Creativity is nowhere in my design. It's nowhere. I mean, I got this human form is blank as hell, but because this is all it, this is all I had offered. But you know, you do what you do. You wonder what the point. You know, you're flying by the seat of your pants, but you guess maybe you're supposed to take a bath. If not, then you get pissed and leashes a parrot on you, or at least I'll meet your maker nice and clean. You have expect some indiscernible goo or blood or something to come out of the faucet in the weird lumpy tub, but thankfully it's just water. Once you're in, you take a look at the truly inordinate amount of bath products you have at your fingertips. There are three shelves of little bottles and soaps and unidentified leather, some accessories by the tub alone. There's even more by the mirror. The labels are all gibberish, of course, but you sniff a few until you find something flowery and go to town. You take more time than you should in there, but you haven't experienced a moment of luxurious solitude in a bit. Full time friendship searching can be a difficult work. It's good to recharge. Once you're freshly scrubbed and dried, you slather yourself head to toe with some lotion and you find an iridescent vial. You hope you won't mind using it. He wants you to be presentable and this stuff is spiky. You're starting to feel rejuvenated as hell. Ready to knock this friendship stuff right out the park. You leave your dirty, torn up old clothes on the floor. Wrap yourself in one of the many satin wardrobes folded on a shelf and head back to find Tagora. He's standing at his full yay, waiting in the contract he typed up for you. When he sees you, his eyebrows stick up. <sighs> okay. Oh, God, I forgot your fucking- I forgot- I forgot your voice, okay. I see you went with the Rainbow Drinker Serum full body application. Full choice. I mean, it's a incredibly rare respective product, and I do expect to be renumberated, but I won't lie, it works. Uh, I hate you. Yeah, yeah, that stuff. You don't want to let that know you don't know what it is to see him. He's impressed. Instead, you give him a little ego, a little. You give his ego a little stroke and tell him you had not see such a scrumptious array of self-care. Accoutrement. I think that's how you say it. And if that's the right way to say it, accoutrement. But hell yeah, I'm just a cool dude, hell yeah. It's so long that you can't help yourself. Not, every, not everyone takes skin care as seriously as they should. I assumed you were taking forever in there because you got lost or you didn't know how to use a ab ab abulsion trap? I haven't nego- I, <laughs> I even considered the possibility that you were just doing your retro. Noted. Oh, rebate for impeccable skincare. Yeah, at least I get a discount, hell yeah. I hold your arms out to admire the well hydrated sheen you have going on. This time you're not really even bullshitting. It actually does look pretty good. Degora seems like he's struggling. He keeps opening his mouth to say something and changing his mind. What do you gotta say to me, dude? He's clutching the documents in his hand like a flotation device. He looks down at them and then back at you. I definitely only use that particular product to highlight my cheek blades, but there's no rumors that you should apply it more liberally, especially if cost is an issue. It's a, it's a little drastic for my personal style, but it is certain unorthodox slammer to it. The next bit looks like it hurt him a bit to get out. Do you? Would you like to step outside to see a full effect? Uh, you bet your ass you would. You're curious about what he means by effect, but it seems like more fun than signing stuff. He places the document down on his desk like you're made of glass, not paper. He looks up at his Lucis, who sort of just tilts his head to the side. Like... This? <laughs> I don't know, this beats- uh, I don't know. You look away and give privacy to do whatever email communication is going on after a bit. Togoro cleans his throat and heads down to the door. You don't comment on the bluish flush in his cheeks. Oh, oh my god, he, does he have a personality? And It's not- Bullshit, I still hate you. For all that shift in his demeanor, he still seems like he might kick you out of your ass if you try to get too feelingsy with him. You start to glow as you step back out into the dark front yard. Not in a light bulb kind of way, but like a subtle ethereal luminescence. What is this stuff? No, no, this is a look. Wow, imagine me glowing. That'd be very nice. <laughs> That'd be very nice. I mean, that is still the unfortunate issue of your homelessness and oral overall aberrance and the fact that you're still wearing my abortion ab ab robe oh my rental v what what's cutting edge i'll give you that you almost look like a real one you don't know what that means but you want to roll around eternally in the praise part you ask if the look will help your case you're all oh, right your case of course he bites his lip and looks back through the window at his papers sitting on the desk where he left them you hope he still wants to represent you, or at least that he want to hang out with you if he wasn't going to. You don't get a chance to prod, though, because right away in someone on the corner of the eye is 
Tagora's face immediately shut us into his usual simp simp simpering mask. There's an edge of panic around his eye, though. So, huh. Wow, Gorgeous, what do you have here? It's a blue themed troll, which is where you. Uh, it's a blue. What? Uh, it's a blue themed troll, if you remember right, means he's a fancier guy than Tagora. Yeah, blue. Yeah, just go, just if, if if you know Roji Biv, if you know Roji Biv, then you know the 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 hierarchy of colors. Then you know the hierarchy. So, there's also lime bloods. There's also lime bloods. I I hear there's like lime bloods. That's like a lore thing. It's it was it's I don't know. It's weird. It's a lime blood thing. Is I don't fucking know. But <laughs> he's grinning like Troll Christmas came early. Wait, is that his ex? Is that like his hate? Wait, is 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 the blue guy you're talking about his hate boyfriend? I think it is. It says a blue guy. Ah, oh, that's why it's a hate boyfriend. I want to actually. Uh, this way, I like Homestuck because you could have a hate boyfriend and a love and a love boyfriend. And I love that shit. <laughs> you can have a hate boyfriend and a love boyfriend. Which I find fascinating. <laughs> you can't even feel better than next to you. Who even is this guy? He, is, he, he gets close enough to get a good look. He jumps and shrieks. What the blue blood boiling fuck? Dagora's froze in the corner of his mouth, pulled back to show his teeth. The new guys ignoring him and do a favor, noticing that you're dressed in Dagora's monogram leisure wear as if you look a fascinated horse or anything say go by. You don't really know what makes you do it. You should wait for Dagora to get himself together and do the talking, but you're right in the high of almost of seeing like he was a junior company. Plus, nothing boosts your confidence like looking like a beautiful spooky angel. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> hey, that's me, a beautiful spooky angel. Oh my god, that's my lore. I just found it out right now. <laughs> So you toss your head, put your best fancy guy voice on, and say, What? Never seen a real one before? You're placing all your chips on the guy, knowing something you don't. But then when his eyes get huge, and he starts fumbling over himself to back away from the sidewalk, you know it's paid off. So girl blinks and jumps right in, picking up directly where you left off. Surely someone as well deformed as you are knows a rainbow trigger when he sees one. The blue guy doesn't respond with anything more current coherent than a string of yelps, so he high tilts it back to where they came from. When he's gone, you turn to Glory and ask him super casually what a rainbow drinker is. He stares at you in stunned silence. Are you? Are you telling? Are you telling me you don't know? You nod. Oh God, I hate that face. I hate you. I hate you. I hate that face. I hate everything you do. Well, you're like second place in like who I hate the most. There's a guy later that I hate the most. You're like second place. Just believe me. You're second place. You just be lucky you're not first place. And then you ran away, and then you ran away, you ran away, fuck, and then you ran with it anyway, exploiting the fear you picked up in return for the time delicate encounter to your favor. You shrug, you guess so, you tell the guard you hope his friend wasn't too freaked out. Friend, no, I hate that guy. <laughs> Is that your hate boyfriend? There are simple times when I like to be, be liked by your betters is helpful. Though technically, fearing means is good, better maybe. So you know. Um, thank you. Tagora's laugh is soft. It's not as sound as you expect to hear. Uh, he's happy because of something you did. You know what? With you, maybe I can like you. Maybe. But you're still a big piece of shit. But, meh. That was a bit of a rush, wasn't it? It was almost fun. I suddenly didn't see it coming. Anyway, I underestimated you. He gives it a prize that pays him look, then takes a deep breath. Deep breath, deep breath. You're so nervous all of a sudden. You feel unbalanced at the precipice of what he might about to say. For what the fuck? Pre prevaricated to another. I will I will let you in on something. I have actually countered an alien before. How how the hell you're paying me? How the hell am I paying for your lie? Well, sweet relief. You tell him his act was airtight. As long as everyone's doing the true thing, you admit you lied a bit too. You're not actually rich. Oh, that's clear now. You have the invaluable ability. You have the invaluable to fake it. That's pretty much clear. Why don't we put your kids on hold for the time being? You wouldn't be. You would have overjoyed the company legal system anyway. We find an alternate means of working off your debt. I think we made a better team than I previously anticipated. With our wits combined, we can tackle bigger and better things than traffic injuries. He flexes his hand at his side. The one swift and decisive moment stands it out to you. His face is something close to honest and god ass real ass smile. Oh, what? Don't make me like you. I don't want to like you. You're a piece of shit. I remember first playing this game and you're a piece of shit. Well, I still don't like you. Anyway, what do you say? Oh, f oh I got a friendship discount. That's pretty nice. The glow in your heart shines brighter than you expensive, still kind of mysterious lotion. Take his hand in your firm, no nonsense grabs a pure and explorable joy and shake it. Friendship! 
Hey, at least I got the good end, and I don't have to. I don't have to try anymore. Wait, let me see my friends. Okay, let me face Bund, struggling artist, drawbacks of online fame, back of losers wranglers. He took care of the weakest link. He made a new business partner. Okay, I guess that's that's another thing you find him. Who's the next guy? I just want to know who I was up dealing with. Okay, so. I don't know these. Oh, God. Uh, okay. I think it's fine. I think. Oh, fuck. Volume 8 is gonna be a nice one. Volume 8 is gonna be a nice one. Um. I think that's it. I think. I don't know. Anyway, that was that. So, yeah, that was that. So, anyway. See y'all later. Bye.